Gentlemen, my next guest tonight is an actress and a comedian you know from Happy Endings, Saturday Night Live, and Showtime's Black Monday. I've been knocking for 20 minutes. Sorry, my grandparents soundproofed all the bedrooms during the dirty 30s. Wow, this really is the perfect apartment. I know. And I love it, but... <laughs> this isn't the way I'm supposed to get it. My parents were supposed to give it to me when we got married, like everyone's parents do. Sweetie, I think your sense of reality is a yeah, little... Yeah, because reality sucks. I deserve the life I dreamed of, not this off-brand version. It's Barbie's dream house, not her fat friend Midge's bed hut house. Is that a real toy? My maid's daughter had one. It came with a block of cheese. Please welcome to The Late Show, Casey Wilson. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I understand the congratulations are in order yeah. uh, for you because you recently got arrested with Jane Fonda. <laughs> all the, that's great. Um, all the best. All the best people do. All the best do. I, I got arrested. She uh, is an ongoing protest called Fire Drill Fridays, kind of to demand climate justice. I was arrested, mm -hmm. and I was told. This is down in D.C. Down right? in D.C. Yeah. And I was told, you know, you're going to be in the holding cell for probably eight to ten hours. So I did, you know, what anyone would do, and that is to wear adult diapers. <laughs> and uh, I felt like that was a very smart move. But that really is <laughs> yeah, smart. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. They, all those moves were smart. But I was seated next to, so they bring you into this holding cell, and I got so lucky because <laughs> they'll seat you next to whoever you're sat next to. You're with them for ten hours, and I was. Oh, seated, you don't get to move around. That's it. No, that's it. And I was seated next to a nurse from Ohio and Gloria Steinem. Is that yeah. what this is? Is that what's, what is happening here? That's is this, what's happening. This is right before our this arrest. This is right before you got arrested. Yes. That's you and Gloria Steinem right there. And that's when spirits were bright. Spirits were high. Before the arrest. Yes, is when before you felt the good. When you felt good. Felt okay. Great. What did you and Gloria talk about? You know, ten first, hours. Ten hours. I'm asking her all these questions. You know, I'm picking her brain. I'm so excited. And then as the hours go on, you know, you're hangry. I start complaining. I've now soiled myself. Like a lot's happened. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much. And yes. it just got darker and darker. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, what garbage TV do you watch? And then <laughs> What garbage TV do you watch? I'm, I'm getting into <laughs> questions now that I'm like, I don't want this for Gloria. Like, I don't sure. want me. She doesn't have to put up with you. She should never have to. And I'm sorry that. No, you not at all. Also have to. No, I'm yeah. very, I'm very happy <laughs> Thank to. Thank you so much. Yeah. But finally, they were like, okay, you guys can shuffle around, and I've never seen someone move so fast <laughs> to the real celebs, <laughs> you know, to mm -hmm. your Janes and your, you know, the right. head of Greenpeace, and yeah. so it didn't feel great, but I was happy for the opportunity. Yeah. How was the nurse? Did you get a chance to talk to the nurse? Why? Well, I, I would never talk to a nurse. No. <laughs> I, she was lovely. She was lovely. She was lovely. Now, you also, uh, I understand, have added a, a new item to your resume. You're, you're going to be a published author. You're working on a book right I now. I am. I am. I've, I've written some, and, yeah. and I, I need perfect conditions. Yeah. To, to, like, the right music has to be on and everything. Can you write? Are you one of those lucky people who can write anywhere? Well. Yes and no. I mean, I work out of a, a kind of co-work space where, you know, women have to multitask. And so I often <laughs> will be writing while I'm getting my hair colored, for instance. Someone will come and I'll get other things done while I'm working. And then, well, With other, other people are working there, too. Everyone's you have a there. Colorist in. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's not That's great. <laughs> I wanted her to color my hair while I was here talking to you guys. But, <laughs> you know, women can have it all, guys. And so she, this last... Not this last time. I want to make that very clear. This was a year and a half ago. She was coloring my hair, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, she screamed and said, you have lice. <gasps> I know. I'm, <laughs> see, this is a tough story to tell. The audience mm -hmm. is turning. This was, again, a year and a half ago. <laughs> and uh, she screamed. We ran from the building. My hands were shaking. Sure. And it turned out, you know, I have a two and a four-year-old. This is from their preschool class. Again, all clear now. And... <laughs> Um, basically, my kids had it, I had it, our babysitter had it, and my husband came home, and I said to him, if you don't have this, you're not spending enough time with our kids. That's a good test. Kind of worth getting it just to know. That's a great test. And I said, they better be fully grown, too. Sure, sure, you know? sure. Yeah, and? He had them, but Yay. not a lot, not a lot, but he no, had them. But still, and it says good things about your relationship. That warmed my heart. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, you, you host a very <laughs> popular uh, podcast, Bitch Sesh. Yes, thank you. What does Casey Wilson feel like uh, bitching about right now? It's strange, but I brought it for you. Can everyone see this little product, Afrin? It's a bottle of Afrin she has. Yeah, you know what yes. this is? It's a nasal spray that you use, okay? You know, and hopefully we all won't need it right yeah, now. Inst instantly, instantly opens, opens, up, opens up, up your sinuses, Why, yes. What is there to complain about Afrin? Afrin is a miracle product. It's a miracle product that I cannot get open, okay? When I tell you there are Google it, Afrin can't get it open, there are hordes of like-minded people like me on the internet just as incensed. I've had to use a wrench. I have had to go to a neighbor's house. Because when you need this, you need it, guys, okay? Do, I... you, do you lotion your hands before you do it? I've never <laughs> had any problem opening an Afrin bottle. Have you opened one recently? Uh, I mean, a okay. couple years. Here's what I want to see. I want to see the CEO of Afrin in a room by himself or herself <laughs> trying to get this open. He or she will go crazy. Honestly, I want to see them you dragged really not into get an asylum. No! <laughs> Push down gently, it says. That's ridiculous. And then open. <laughs> Just call me. Just call. Are you in the New York you. area? Do you live in the New York I'm area? I'm in California, but I, I guess there's FedEx. Sure. I, I'm embarrassed, but I'm telling you all, this is a strong man. It's the average person. I am telling you all, I am not a strong man. <laughs> Lovely that to meet you. That was hard. Nice so to meet you. Here. Again, no life. The second season of Black Monday premieres March 15th on Showtime. Casey Wilson, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Sir Keith Urban.